Hello, this is Kelly from Pursuit, working on another 100-day project. So thanks for being here and all that you do to support my channel, including uh, everyone who's subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, you can go ahead and uh, check that, uh, you know, click subscribe, and then you'll get notified in all of uh, my upcoming videos. So got a little bit different uh, project for today. Um, it's like a full out tiny envelope deal. So uh, basically we're going to make a bunch, well, five tiny envelopes. I found this uh, double-sided paper. You can make your envelopes out of anything. These, um, these happen to be seven centimeters by seven centimeters. It doesn't matter what size, just as long as it's a square. Um, and if you want your envelopes to be a little bit more elongated then you separate these two if you want it to be a little bit more of a square envelope then you put those pieces right together so this is how I do my envelopes like so I think that's just about what I have in mind for those. So I'm just gonna fold these all up. Uh, let's see, which got these and those. So I'm gonna do two, I think I'm gonna do pink, two pinks. Yeah, using the thin double-sided works really well for envelopes. And then you have a little peekaboo in there. This one I want to be pink also. I'm going to do this side this time. Just overlap those a little bit. And this is how we fold these up. And over. I get lots of demonstrations on how these are done. That's a little crooked. We fix these at the end and I'll do this one like this. Sometimes I do them crooked and then I kind of fix them and if they're a little crooked oh dear this one was really crooked sometimes if they're not uh, lined up if this angle isn't correct then the whole thing kind of gets discombobulated so let me try that again yep it's pretty crooked but that's just how it's gonna be Oh, and it's not the right same size as the other ones either. I was doing so well, had the system, and then all of a sudden, kaplow, the whole thing fell apart. No, just kidding. Okay, so this is how I put these together. Sometimes I fold this over uh, like that, and then I come back here and I glue along there in the triangle and along this spot. I can do under this little fold on there in the triangle and along here fold it up and envelope is sealed then I come in a little bit at angle here and a little bit of an angle that way so here and here at an angle and then that leaves me my little envelope all nice and done up Let's fold that in give that a little glue there and fold that down triangle side this is when that 
fine point of the this art glitter glue kind of comes in handy just kind of pull that open a bit so it doesn't glue itself shut which it does sometimes and then you just dig in there and open it back up okay so those two are done let's try this one a little bit, not a lot of it. Oh goodness. It just doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Do, do, do. That one. We'll get our little that angle and angle. Another one done. Just poke our hand in there. Nothing sticking shut. Pull that up a little bit. We need glue. Glue for this part. Do, do, do. This is the pokey part and then the rest of it's gonna come together super fast. Super duper. Oh, one more to go. We're, we're almost there. This is the kind of wonky envelope. That's okay. We're not worried. Oh, that piece went flying. Do, do, do. Okay. The scrums, scrapples in the garbage. And now we have some envelopes. Some lovely, lovely little envelopes. Now we need like a little base situation. I think maybe. Oh, Glory Patry. I love that one. Okay. So I think that I'm just going to glue along here. And glue these two together. Maybe the glue will co cooperate. Oh, it says, hey. I'm all jammed up. Okay. There we go. Now let's line these up. Let's see. How they look pretty good pretty good i think that's all we need is that amount we don't need it anymore see if i can yeah i should be able to do it i'm gonna take off the end of this one and the reason i'm kind of leaving this let me see where the middle is uh just like this is because this, uh, I want it to be fairly thin because I'm worried that this can bulk up quickly having envelopes and layers because we're going to fold this all together. So we don't want it to get too 
bulky for our, our, our journals. Okay. These two and this one. So I'm just going to glue this one down. I was wondering if I could get two widths out of this. Smear that in a little bit. Okay, in the middle. Yep, okay, that's how I'm gonna do it. Sorry, I was thinking, oh, is this really how I wanna do it? Well, I glued it, so it's done. It's done. Sometimes I just make stuff up as I go along. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, goodness. You can make these even smaller if you want to. These little envelopes and do even more envelopes. It's about, about right for space in between them all. Okay. Do that. Don't need these anymore. You can go home. And so well I don't need all this, do I? I really don't. Well, I'll do it this way. This makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. Now I got those strips. All right. Now what are you doing? Well, I'm going to crease these and fold them right in between. Crease. will do for now. Crease in between. Crease in between. There we go. So now we have folded all these up. And then this and that come together. Ha ha. Did it. And I think it would be kind of cool if I took a piece of this and maybe got out my like, well, it might not be thick enough. It would match really, really well. I might have to put it on some thicker paper. Thicker paper. Yeah, thicker paper. Oh. There's a circle out there. I really want Is there a, here's my circle punch. I still haven't been able to find my circle punches. They're missing. They're seriously missing. They must be in a pile somewhere. Ah, it was. Okay. Found it under, under a stack. I'm hoping that th this is the same. Oop. You're in the way. You're in the way. Those are cute. Fine, I'll save them. Okay. All right. Do to do. Oh, this is the same size. It's 
slightly bigger than my paper, but that's okay. I don't mind. Nobody minds. Might as well do it on this side. Got a little color on it. Do, do, do. Those little cardboard tags from the punch outs. Yep. Okay. So now, just going to glue this thing on. So I'm going to glue half of it, maybe a little less than half. That on there. Like so. Like that. And then we open it up. <laughs> Look at how fun that is. And then you can put like a little word sentiment in each one or a little goodie in there or a little mini tag or any number of wonderful things that you can think of. How fun is that? I really wanted to use these because I have, I just got a bunch of these. They're like all these, um, what do you call them? Wax seals. I just wax seal everything. And they're washi tape, so they're kind of mostly removable. So I can just stick them on there and you can still open them up. Yeah, try and stop me from doing that. Yep. There's that one. Oh, there's so many different colors. I got this one has a little key on it. So cute. Look at that. Little key. Yep. These are cute. Oh, there's like some really frilly ones in there. Do do do. Okay, and you go on here. Look at that. They all their own little wax seal. How fun. And it's washi tape, so it just it's not like a permanent situation. And then you could just do this like that. That's almost like a wax seal. I, I want to put something pretty in the middle. What should it be? I got all these little... Oh, I'm just going to grab a bunch. See what happens. There's that one. There's this one. I kind of like that one. Okay, well, let's do it. Oh, it's got some pink on it, too. I'm not going to... I'm not going to ink it. I'm going to leave it like that. Hopefully, it's sticky enough. Nope, it's not. Good thing I tested that. That would have been falling off somewhere. Spin around. Smear the glue. There you go. That's kind of different. Just a little different. And, hmm. Okay, fine. Since you insist. Actually, you could trim all these at once if you wanted to. If you really, really wanted to. If you really, really did. But you don't have to. Okay, that was kind of fun. Dun, dun, dun. And envelopes. Ha! Ah, I love this. Such fun things we make here. You can just put that right in a pocket. In your pocket. Oh no, in a pocket. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. Let's see what else we've got on here. Now I want to... Yeah, I saw some interesting ones. There's some squishied ones. This is where it gets... That's interesting. And this one. Hmm. There really are a lot on here. Oh, that one's got flowers. They're upside down. But can you see them? Hmm. These are really cool. So many different ones. Well, I hope I get use out of those. I was wondering if I was, I was like, oh, I hope I, but I think as long as I can use them, uh, you know, on any 
open like envelope that you can own it open it like it's a re what do they call that resealable tape yeah 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 that's what i'm saying all right well <laughs> uh if you're interested in i already kind of said that i think at the beginning if you're interested in seeing more videos you can always click subscribe if uh you have any questions for me you know you can always uh, comment be below and uh, let me know what you're thinking because I enjoyed that. And if you haven't missed out on the giveaway, you should definitely join that. The giveaway is you just click on my videos and scroll down and it'll say giveaway and then open in all caps. And that's how you know which giveaway I'm doing right now. Um, I'm giving away my, a pack of stamps, which I seem to have put away i know you can't believe it can you but i did i put them away so anyway they are they look like real oh here we go this is the stamp and there's multiple different ones that's just one example there's like six or seven different ones and yeah they look like real sewing stitches they're really cool anyway this is what the stamp does and i like it all right, well, that's about all I had. So as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.